Okay, okay, nobody be mad at me, okay? I kept a tiny secret, it's a small one. There's a tiny secret from you guys, okay? Here's how the story goes. I have my notes out, cause I'm nervous. I don't know how to YouTube anymore. And it literally looks like it's gonna rain. It is gonna rain in 35 minutes, great. <laughs> no pressure. All right, y'all, here's how it goes. On April 15th, Birch and I took a trip down to Waldorf, Maryland, where I attended the Safety Stone Motorcycle and Driving School. It's a two-day course, and I got to take it on my Rebel 300. The morning of April 16th, I arrived to class and met Miss V, who is my instructor for the weekend. We filled out our paperwork, and within an hour tops, we were out on the range on our bikes. So let me start by refreshing you about my Harley course experience, because if you guys saw that video, I'll link it somewhere. It was a literal boot camp. <laughs> I cried through an exercise today. I got yelled at for going too slowly. I dropped the bike once. In comparison to this course, it was like, you just couldn't take a break. You couldn't breathe. It was go fast, go fast, go fast. And there's a big difference between pushing yourself outside of your, your comfort zone and literally pushing people into being not safe. But it got to the point where my safety was priority and it just wasn't safe for me to continue. So, it goes without saying, I was so incredibly nervous for this class. I'm talking, sat down to fill out the paperwork and I was visibly shaking. And there was like a, a mile between where you did the class and the actual range. And that mile ride, I turned the radio up so loud. <laughs> I was like, if I don't get my adrenaline and like my blood pumping to match my nerves, I'm gonna be toast as soon as I step on my bike. So I hype myself up, I pump myself up. I was ready to freaking go. I had to get my bike legally to Waldorf, which is an hour and 15 ride from where we live. So thank you, babe, for not only getting my bike down to Waldorf, but also waking up at 8 a.m. to get my bike to the range. And he had been awake for like 10 minutes. So thank you very much. <laughs> so anyways, we're on the range. We line up the bikes. Miss B immediately gets us into staging, which is where we line up and they're literally starting their bikes. I was the only one who actually brought my own bike. And of course my, my Rebel is fuel injected. All the other bikes were um, like 80s, 250s, Nighthawks and whatnot. So everyone kind of struggled a little bit with their choke and I was ready to go because all I have to do is click a button but that was kind of nice I felt like I had a little bit of a head start on everybody and the first day was a breeze I had a blast we did kind of the same startup as the Harley class which is the first day you just learn your friction zone you duck walk and then you progress from there into like adding just a little bit of throttle but you're still kind of walking the bike and I was familiar with that from my Harley class as well as just practicing in parking lots and whatnot so I did really really well on the first day and and again, comparatively, my first day of Harley to my first day of this course, different universe. This course reminded me why I wanted this so badly, how much fun it can be, and just that it doesn't have to be terrifying. And it really solidified that the Harley course wasn't right for me because of the way the class is structured. Not to mention, there were only seven people in my course. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, versus the 13, 14, 15 in my Harley course, which meant that Miss V, the instructor, could literally be on you, could watch you, could tell you what you're not doing well, what you need to improve on, as well as the fact that if I got confused during an exercise, I just yelled, Miss V, I need help. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. She just calmly came back over and was like, okay, baby, you just gotta go left, right, left, right, or whatever it was. It made the experience easy, easy and fun. That's the two words that I can put to it, easy and fun. It brought back all the freaking joy I've ever had for my bike. I think I can hear a little Grom coming up the way. Oh, hello! <laughs> what do you have, Andrew? Delivery for the podcast? Oh, great. Thanks. I'm like, what is stuck up your shirt? <laughs> Noise. It's going to rain in like 30 minutes. It says drizzle. Have fun. I love you. Have a good time. I have no idea where I was now. <laughs> So day one was a blast. I felt confident. I felt like I was gonna crush it. I had no fears. I wasn't really even nervous anymore. I was feeling like the anticipation, I guess, for day two because I hadn't seen day two yet. Day one, I knew what to anticipate. I knew what the exercises were and what was what we were gonna learn that day because it was equivalent to my day three of my Harley course. So the Harley course was two days in class and two days on the range. So I had completed day three of Harley, which was day one of this course. Day two, I was apprehensive that's the word, because I didn't know what to anticipate. But the nerves weren't really there. I was knew I had my bike, I knew I had Miss V who was my coach and she was gonna support me and not just scream at me. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, she was tough. 
It wasn't like some easy thing. She's a, she, was, she was tough on me, but in the best way possible. She really, really pushed me to do my best and to just knock it out, to keep moving, to keep trying. So as you guys know, in my Harley course, one of the things I struggled with the most was the heat that day. I think I ended up like the real feel was recorded at 107, 108 or something crazy with those massive 400 pound Harley bikes that are air cooled. And it was just the whole nine and nothing was moving in my favor. I have poured water all over myself and I cannot seem to get cooled down. I'm very concerned about the heat today. So day two of this course was a little bit hotter than day one. Nothing like 107, but we were getting up into the 80s. And one of the things that stuck out to me about this course was we were allowed breaks, real, actual breaks. Seven minutes of water, of snacks, of whatever we needed. Also, there was a bathroom and it wasn't <laughs> at the Harley course. I don't even think I mentioned this. The only bathroom was a porta potty and which is fine, whatever, but it was disgusting, like unusable. And that was the only option. Here at this course, they had a porta potty that is used only for the course, cleaned every week, cleaned every week. It's things like that, that kind of make a difference. Cause if you're uncomfortable at the time that you're there, you're not gonna be riding your best or, or whatever it is. Oh, I forgot my train of thought. So I entered day two a little bit apprehensive, but again, knowing I had Miss V, knowing we were gonna be allowed to take breaks for heat, for water, for snacks, and just knowing that I had my rebel with me, I don't wanna use the word confident, but I was feeling good, feeling like I could crush it and that everything was gonna be fine. And no matter what, I learned double what I learned in Harley in half the time. We went back to the classroom and took the test. I missed two on the written test, which I did also at the MVA when I took my permit. And I think the issue is that the book is very specific. So the, the questions, you could have like four right answers, but it wants you to pick the book answer, if that makes sense. So I missed two, whatever, I'm not perfect, it's fine. So I passed the written version and we were again, back out on the range before noon even. We're out there, we get right into staging, we learn I think three or four more exercises, and then we were bang right smack into the test. And Miss V didn't even tell us we were in the test. The only indication that we were actually taking the test is she walked back to her truck and pulled out her clipboard. Beyond that, she just moved us into the next exercise. Miss V is certified under the MVA. She's been doing this for like 20, I think 30 years almost. And you could not imagine a better instructor. That just rained on me. <laughs> Okay, we're getting rained on, great. <laughs> so we took our test and eventually got to the point where she literally just, she was like, okay, turn them off, turn them off. She just directed us right back to staging. And we were all like, uh, are we, are we done? And at that point she's like, yep, put them back into the trailer, you guys are done. She had me pull my bike off to the side and everyone is talking to each other and we're like, did we all fail? That was so fast. Literally, what's the what's the word? Cliffhanger. The biggest cliffhanger of our lives. We're all just standing around like, oh my God, what happened? Well, it turns out we all passed. I now have my motorcycle license. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> and it was a fun process. It was a fun experience. And I feel ready to go. I can go in the neighborhood. I can just take my bike out. <laughs> It's amazing. This is like a lifelong goal for me, a lifelong thing that I get to do. For the rest of my life, I can ride bikes. And it's just mind blowing and so cool to achieve such a big goal of mine at my age and where I am in my life. And I just, it's incredible. It's really, really incredible. So yeah, guys, I passed. I have my motorcycle license and it's the best feeling in the world. It is really, really the best feeling in the world. I'm so excited. I get to ride all summer. I have all summer. It couldn't have gone any better than it did. Now I do have a confession. I missed eight points on the test. <laughs> Those old Nighthawks have like like a really big turn radius difference to the point that in the class, Miss V actually came up to me and over me pulled my handlebars. And thank God I was in neutral because I whiskey throttled the sh out of my bike. And she was like, oh God, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. And I'm like, for what? She's like, I thought you weren't turning your bike the whole way. So later on that day, I was like, Miss V, do I suck at turning or is it my turn radius? She's like, no, it's actually really different to the Nighthawks. So during the test, when I went up to do the, the box, like the U-turn, she was like, okay, let's put you in the big... 
Actually, no, you can do it, you can do it. You go in the smaller cones. And of course, just the last cone actually ran over it. Didn't even miss it, I ran over it. So, you know, she gave me the points off for that. That was three points. And then we did the braking quickly where like you, you break at the cones and you have to break within 20 feet or it's like a parking lot space or whatever it is. And um, I missed five points there for anticipation. So that means that basically I was braking sooner than I was supposed to be. I was anticipating the break versus breaking at the cones and then breaking in the appropriate amount of space. So A points, you know, I, I am aware of the skill, I'm aware of what I need to do, so I'm not really that upset about it because it's like, I just have to practice, I have to practice. Oh, I'm so excited to get out, so, so excited to get out. Not to mention, the goal of a 636 is it's gonna creep up. It's really gonna creep up really fast. I feel like this is a forever bike. I'm always gonna have her. This is, uh, you know, I just, I can't imagine not keeping this bike, but it's just cool to know that I could do something as crazy as buy a 636. I could literally do it and it would be, it's plausible. I can ride that bike. I can learn to ride that bike. I can learn the weight. I can experience with other types of bikes. I could get a sport bike. I could get a dual sport. I could go dirt bike riding. I could go off road. I can do all of these things now because I passed that test. So guys, that's how it went. Amazing. Everything that I was expecting out of the course and everything that the Harley course just didn't give me. It totally turned around the whole idea from being such a negative and kind of sad experience to re, like just falling back in love with my bike and knowing that I'm capable of something. That's just, that's just the coolest part, so. I highly recommend if you are a new rider or you're looking to get your motorcycle license, sign up for that class. Meet Miss V. I'm telling you, you will pass. You will make it through. She is genuinely an amazing instructor and I couldn't have asked for a better experience. Well worth the money, well worth all of it. She is what got me through this, genuinely. Well, we're officially getting rained out, so it's time to put all of the camera equipment away, get my bike under my cover, maybe if I make it in time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I can't believe I really did it, but it's really raining and I really gotta go. Really gotta go. <laughs> Shoot. Hello, little bike.